Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This video will be quite interesting I think. I have been given, no not given, I have been tasked by somebody at work to fix one of these. Now this is an original Nintendo Game & Watch parachute game. It's in quite a bad state. For a start, there was no battery um, cover, so the person I got it off bought a battery cover from eBay. Now this is a pretty good little printed one, 3D printed. Shame it's in black and not red, or brown, but it will work. I mean, it does hold the battery in, but as you can see, this piece of plastic there is missing and broken off, and the reason we have sellotape here is because the whole of this grey, this gold panel comes off and the buttons don't work so let me take this sellotape off and we'll have a look at what's the problem if we can okay so I very carefully removed the sellotape and that is what happens. So as you can see in here, it's all scummy and ganky. And this, I mean, that's just, no words, it's just disgusting. So I think it's been well used and the little, the little file switches under here and under those as well are worn out and they need replacing or they need cleaning. The screen, you can see in the corners, is very dirty and probably needs a good polish. Um, but other than that, it is in quite good nick. So, what do you think? Oh, I mean, look, it's just there's just crap coming out of it. Let me set the camera up properly and then we'll give it a good go and see if I can take it apart. So that's two. Is that too big? What are those in there? Oh, they're special Nintendo screws. Doodars. Right. Where is my little screwdriver? Where's my little friend? Well, I don't know. Oh. Hmm. What have I done with that? It's down here. Here we go. Excellent, 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 excellent. So, let me see. Yes. Okay, tiny flathead screwdriver. And that works. Right, so what's in there? Nothing that doesn't matter if I get lost, whereas these are more important. There has oh look at that. Right, so that's broken off as well. You can see that. That is the screw thread that goes there. Right, so we can't lose that. One. Hmm. There's some, there's quite a bit of corrosion on that screw actually. There we go. So in here we've got the rubber keys with the little pieces of harder rubber in the middle and they are manky. 
they are totally manky. It's got what looks like bits of skin under there, or it could actually be glue. That must go in that way because. Does that go in that way? Oh, that goes in that way. Yes, there we go. Okay. So all those need cleaning. Right. What have I got? Some WD-40. A couple of cotton buds. But what I think I will use, I have got... Maplin's Contact Cleaner. Now, who'd have thunk it, eh? Maplin's. <laughs> of all the places that would have gone to pot onto the wall I never thought it would have been maplins pardon me now what can we do we can caress Clean each one of those. I mean, it's disgustingly filthy. Could probably get a face wipe on that, actually. Maybe that's what I need to do. I've got some gadget wipes somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Thinking also though, while I'm doing this, I probably could fix this. And to me, it looks like it's been fixed before with some super glue, but very, very badly. <gasps> oh, that was lucky. So two of those, they need to be cleaned. That looks like it needs to be cleaned in hot water with a toothbrush. Hmm. It's filthy. Yeah. So does that actually. Very, very gentle soap. Right. Let me have a look here. I've got some super glue. And that is quite shiny, so it does look as though it has actually been tried to be glued before. So hopefully this time it will stick. Oh, as opposed to sticking my fingers together, you see. Apologies for the hands being in the way. There's not really much I can do at this point. So it looks like it's this sort of plastic that doesn't actually stick with super glue. So what I might have to do, look at that. So that's better around the back. We can, no, oh, you see, we can't, can we? That doesn't actually stick. So what I might have to do, is run my soldering iron inside and physically melt it
that might be the only way that we can do this is, is physically melt round there with the soldering iron although that does look as though it is actually glued let's try a bit like that and then Oh. So super glue is actually melting the plastic. Right, well that's pretty good. That's actually glued quite well. Okay. Right, let's get myself some cleaning going on. What have I got for cleaning? Oh, I know what I have got. I have got... Some label clean. Now this usually takes off. Let's try it on the metal first. It takes off the gammy that the labels have left. And look at that, it seems to be doing that. There. Right, so that's all the residue off here that is going to come off, I think. Hmm, actually, we can do that. If that's the case, out comes the big guns. The front is very dinted, but I'm not going to be able, I don't think, to get round that because this thing is so old. I mean, this this is 1984, I want to say. So, how are we doing? Perfect. So we're now stuck. That bit's repaired. Oh, well, that bit isn't, so we need to stick. 
that bit down like so. Okay. So I need to be careful with this because because in there, you can see in there, is the little clip where the battery holder goes. So we don't really want to fill that in and destroy that hole. Because if we do, the battery clip will not fit. Ah, you see, look at that. The glue has not stuck. And that's even with glue on both sides. So glue on one side, glue on that side, and it hasn't stuck. So, do I get my soldering iron and melt that? <laughs> No, I don't. Well, that's it. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Turn on my soldering iron. Three hundred and thirty degrees without enough there's not enough room on this table it's ridiculous but it is the only table i've got so we may do so i'm hoping i should be able to just melt a tiny bit of plastic in there yeah right we'll have to see I know really you shouldn't do this with a silver iron tip, but I haven't really. Got anything else to use. Cool. Clean the tip of all the detritus. Yes. Not a bad tip. There we go. Right. Right then, my son. quite warm that I can actually mold the plastic myself from that side and as I feared the super glue actually does melt the plastic that was Pretty bad idea, Michael. Right, get as much of that off as I can. Yeah, like so. Right, let's tackle the screen. 
what have I got in my box of bits under my desk? I have got, I think, yeah, it's a window lead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got some of that. That should be good enough for cleaning this. So I'll get myself three lots. One, two, three lots of kitchen roll paper. Other other brands of window cleaner are available. Yeah, better than it was. Okay, put that away. Put that in the bin. So what have we got here? So we have now got to tackle, if we can, this. See, that again has been super glued in the past. I can tell because it's giant. That way. Now, can you see what's happened there? Some liquid has got under the screen. Oh, it's lifted that up. Oh, that's what it is. There was a, there was a screen cover. Look. Definitely a lot cleaner than it was. So what about this screen now? Oh, another one as well. Right, okay. So that... It's the background screen, the the screen that has the trees on it, and what looks like little dimples. But it is full of crap, so that maybe could do with a tiny wipe, with a toothbrush and the sticker removing fluid. And one thing I've just realised is that before I started taking this apart, I didn't actually show it you not working. But believe me, it doesn't work. The buttons didn't work. And the little man wouldn't move across the screen when you pressed the buttons. As you heard then, probably everything fell apart. Right, so double sided tape. So what I need to do 
cut some of that. Put it there. Now, the same thing, I think, yes, so it is polarised, as you can see, you can't see anything that way, but that way, you can see the green and the browns in the palm trees and a bit of the blue. Polarised. Not polarised. So I think what I will do is I will put some sticky tape on here. So we know which way it goes round. Can we use that? No. Right. So what I'm thinking is ooh, time for coffee. Right, guys. Um, I thought I'd have a quick look under the screen. So I hope you can see this on the camera. Well, not with my hand in the way you can anyway. But I peeled the screen off. And basically the screen is, well, it's just that. Yeah, with a silver foil underneath it that acts as a reflector. So in here, I mean, this is filthy. So if I, if I clean that and show you that that is the LCD. And then those little connectors there, and the silver, if you can see that. So we can get a bit of brighter light. Let's try that instead. How are we there? How about that? Is that any better? Oh, maybe. Yeah. These here, very, very tiny metal teeth. And they connect to here but I think that's the problem look at it, it's slight like water damage so because of that I'm going to give it a damn good spray Thank you. 
contacts with the screen look good. Right. Let's have a look at this then. Right. So that's got to go like that. That's got to go like that. That has to go like that. And then. Hopefully, this will actually align the screen. Hello again. Um, it's been a couple of days, really, since I've looked at this um, Game & Watch from Nintendo. It's still not working very well. The right-hand button still doesn't work. And it looks to be... A fault with the actual main board. I don't know why it is, it just is. It's just not playing ball at all. And I'm going to have one final go at this and then it can go back to its owner. Um, the fact that these things are 30 years old <coughs> oh, pardon me. Still got my cough. Can't get rid of that. Although it isn't as bad as it was before. So while I'm doing this, I'm just looking at Steam on my PC. Okay, so Steam, I've now got another free game on there. Thimbleweed Park. That sounds good. So what have I got? So far I've got Subnautica. And I have Fortnite and Unreal Tournament and Thimbleweed Park, which is pretty cool. Not bad for free. And that's on the Epic Games. And I'm also on Steam. I've got... Oh, what have I got on Steam? Oh, Lego Lord of the Rings. Yes. So that would be a good gaming session for me when I actually decide to get some time to game. Okay, they go in there. Now, what I did do last time, which is what, three days ago maybe, I epoxy resined some of these in because they were broken. So we've got epoxy resin there for that, which is not actually looking too bad. And epoxy resin for that because that came off, and epoxy resin for that because that came off. It's all epoxy. Yeah. Uh, and that's epoxy, not poxy. It's not poxy. There's nothing poxy about it. Um, so, very quickly. And I've looked at a lot of YouTube videos on this. And, oh, what's going on there? And they all are under the same opinion that it should just be the contacts that need a good clean. So, what I will try again, ultimately... Is to clean them but it could be a number of components that are faulty i might even i can find it oh it's down there i might even 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 get out right so it's this one that's not working that one there from last time i might even if i can from down here get my multimeter now Excellent. So, what I've got now down here is my magnifying glass. And, can you see that? Yes, you can. Right. So, I can tone out.
Okay, so that's working. So if we go from here, why? Why? See, that's not toned there, is it? Ooh. Is that a resistor? Oh, look. I think I found what's the problem. There's a break in the track there. I think there, there's a break in the track. How interesting. Curiouser and curiouser. That, dear friends, is the problem. already aligned excellent so I think what we should be able to do is fix the track with a tiny piece of wire now the question is do I have hand me a tiny piece of wire I think the answer should be yes I have many tiny pieces of wire but let me have a look in this corner and see what I've got <sighs> no. Yes and no. What I have got though is a spare resistor. And I think I get my side cutters. chop off a tiny piece of wire like so that's going to be enough enough in 
in fact, that is probably, can't even pick it up. That is probably too long and too dirty. Right, piece of, uh, oh. sandpaper. Yeah, even that's too big. Let's chop off about half again. So we don't need that. And then that tiny piece there. I've got, it must be said, the worst pliers ever. So, some flux. Dirty soldering iron. Much better. So that's not sticking, you see there, so we definitely need that. Brilliant. Fantastic! Oh, I think I've fixed it. <clears throat> right. So off with the soldering iron. Now, how can I make sure that that? Oh, okay. So there is a big gap in here, which is good because that means I can probably put some epoxy over that. Now that might help because and it should be non conductive. Now I say should because I don't really do much work in resin in epoxy but I'm going to change that in the next couple of videos because I've got some more resiny stuff that I need to do voila now you can also see that this resin is starting to cure it's literally it's like five minute cure What do I do need? I need, I need, I need, I need to get that off there so I can use my spudger again. My spatula. There we go. Nice and clean. Okie doke. Let's have a see what's going on. So you can see it's going a bit translucent, opaque. So I'll just recheck that with the multimeter just to make sure that I've not shorted anything out before it dries. So
So there we go, there's a good connection still. Now, that's probably due to the fact that it was, I think, Coca-Cola spilled on this. So, the childhood antics of my colleague at work, I think is probably what caused that to break. Not mentioning any names, they know who they are. Now, that bit, as you see there, that bit that I've just done, fits nicely in there without actually touching anything. So, we should now... in true Mike's Retro Tech fashion, screw it up. Blimey, it stinks, that resin. I think the next time I use it, I'm gonna to have to open the velox window. Let some air in, some stinky smells out. Oh. So be careful if you're doing this at home. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, otherwise you'll be having Happy thoughts! Okay. So we can't tell until we screw it down because the case compression is what keeps all the things together and helps to keep the joints um, together in the battery compartment. So we have to go through this every time, every time. Can I move that? Oh, that's better. A bit more light on the subject. It may not show well up on this camera because uh, I haven't got the, the camera LED light on. I've only got the magnifying light on. But we'll see. Now hopefully. Oh, now that looks like I've got the ca oh, I've got the cable caught. Oh, one of the many downfalls of having a wired piezoelectric speaker is that the wires do get caught where they're not supposed to oh there we go that's better I can feel it already can you feel it can you feel it can you feel it oh sorry yeah actually I can feel it and I can smell it and it's stinks and that's not just the resin that's my singing as well past experience of putting these back together it doesn't always work the first time and I have to take it apart rejiggle it round a bit and then try again now fingers crossed so that's all secure there all secure there one of them one of them oh yes so we've got a full a full Let's have a see whether we can get the light on. Right, can we see that now? Let's have a look. Okay, so all the LED screens is on. So you press... Game A. <gasps> look! Oh no, the shark's got it. Mm. 
Wow, so that's fixed. That's amazing. Well, there we go. It goes left and right, which it didn't do before. Can you see that? Left and right. It didn't do that before. Game B works. And I think eventually time works. Let's let it time out. Can we put better better lighting. So left and right, left and right. We press the time button. There you go, the time is in the top corner. And the time says 12.01. Brilliant. Well, there we go. I surprised myself there. I've actually been able to fix something. Which is good news for me because it means I'll be able to now do all the tear down and fix it videos. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this. It's been a long video, I know, and um, while I edit this, I will try to make it as quick as possible so that it, you don't get bored, so you can actually see the crux of what I've done. And with a bit of time lapse and a bit of speeding up, hopefully, it will be a video that you like. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching. Good night. Hey, hey, hey.